assalamu alaikum class in this lecture we will discuss problem number 10.2a from financial and managerial accounting book written by williams haka betner we have given uh, different items related to liabilities and we are going to classify uh, the mix of liabilities into current liabilities and long term liabilities in this lecture so let's begin with excel sheet here it is the problem. You can see that we have uh, different sort of liabilities. All um, portion, balance sheet portion, partial balance sheet is given. Here we have uh, different liabilities, mix of liabilities, uh, uh, either current or fixed or long-term liabilities. Then we have important information is given four other information is given and we have two instructions or requirement and first requirement uh, prepare the current and long-term liability section of the balance sheet so partial balance sheet is required uh, indicating the liabilities portion having current liabilities and the long-term liabilities whereas in other uh, instructions uh, are uh, to explain how the information, these four information, influence your presentation of the company's current liabilities. So what we are going to do is to um, attempt these two requirements simultaneously. We are going to discuss first these uh, other information first, and then um, we will prepare a partial balance sheet. So the first information... is about the note payable to Northwest Bank is due in 60 days. Uh, generally, note payable is a long-term liability, but here it is due in 60 days. So now that lo long-term liability is converted into current liability. Uh, arrangement have been made to renew this note payable for additional 12 months. Uh, additional 12 months means now uh, again this liability has been converted into uh, you can say long term liability because now it is payable after 12 months. So here it is the liability uh, which is a note payable which is payable to Northwest Bank. So while preparing um, partial balance sheet, we will classify it into long-term liabilities. Then the mortgage loan, next is mortgage loan uh, requirement payment or requires payment of $6,000 per month and amortization schedule shows that its balance will be paid down to $739,000 by December 31st, uh, 2012. So, this mortgage note payable is $750,000 at the start of the month or at the, end, uh, at the end of the previous year. So, you can say that uh, the difference between two amounts uh, means by deducting $739,000 from $750,000, the difference is $11,000. So this $11,000 represents current portion of the long-term mortgage note payable. So this uh, $739,000 will be recorded on um, in long-term liability se uh, section, whereas... Uh, uh, the difference between these two, which is uh, 11,000, that will be recorded in the current liabilities. The next is accrued interest on mortgage note is payable. Uh, payable is paid monthly. So interest is paid monthly. So interest payable as interest is paid monthly. So this interest is uh, the current liability. So we are going to record accrued interest in the current liability section. Then the company has been sued for $100,000 in a contract dispute. This is uh, not possible. It is not possible at this time, however. 
to make a reasonable estimate of the possible loss, if any, that the company may have sustained. So in this case, uh, you can say this loss is a contingent loss and as uh, no reasonable estimate can be made uh, of the loss incurred, so this loss contingency does not meet the criteria for accrual. So this uh, this loss is not going to be recorded either in um, the current liabilities as well as in the long term liabilities. It will be disclosed in the notes um, notes to the financial statement, but it should not be shown as a liability. So uh, this will fulfill the disclosure requirement only. So now what we are going to do, we are going to prepare a partial balance sheet. Partial balance sheet means only the portion of liabilities. So first of all, we have current liabilities. In current liabilities, you can see that we have uh, income tax payable is a current liabilities, accrued interest in payroll taxes are uh, current liabilities, mortgage loan is a long term liabilities, accrued interest is also a current liabilities, trade accounts payable is always a current liabilities, unearned revenue income, unearned revenue is also a um, is always a current liability, whereas uh, this potential liability in pending lawsuit is just, it should be represent in um, disclosure uh, or you can say notes to the account. So this is not going to be recorded either in current liabilities as well as in long-term liabilities, whereas uh, you can see that uh, note payable to North West Bank it will be recorded on uh, long-term liability side. Mortgage note payable is again a long-term liability, but the amount will be changed from 750 to uh, three, uh, 739000 dollars. And then uh, we have. Again. Then we have one more thing is remaining, which is current portion of long-term debt, which is the difference between the 750 and 739, which is 11,000. So this also is going to be recorded on current liability sites. So income, taxes, payable, amount is, here it is, $40,000. Accrued expenses and payroll also is a current liability. Accrued. and payroll taxes $60,000 then we have accrued interest on mortgage which is $5,000 Then we have current portion of uh, mortgage note payable. Current portion of which is 11,000. We have just calculated it 11,000. $11,000. 
and how we calculated this amount? We deduct $739,000 from $750,000. And then uh, trade accounts payable is remaining. So trade accounts payable. It is also a current liability. Then unearned revenue. It is also a current. It is also in current liability, which is the current liability, which are fifteen thousand dollars. So total liabilities, total current liabilities are three hundred and eighty-one thousand dollars. So these are total current liabilities. Then we have long-term liabilities in which we have, first of all, note payable to Northwest Bank. Note payable to Northwest Bank, which is, again, $500,000. Then we have mortgage note payable and this is $739,000. Because out of $750,000 11,000 is converted into current portion of mortgage note payable. So uh, the remaining amount is $739,000. And when we add these two, so these are total long term liabilities and the total liabilities are you can say total liabilities are 381000 plus long term liabilities which is one thousand two hundred and thirty nine thousand dollars one two three nine dollars so here it is so that's it from this problem what we have done we have classified these all liabilities into current liabilities and long-term liabilities. From this lecture, we have learned what are current liabilities, what type of current liabilities are. Uh, these are the example and what is long-term liability. So that's it from this lecture. Take care, class.